Kyle Notch, number 13. I'm a senior outside linebacker from Waukesha, Wisconsin. I also have the privilege of being a captain on this year's football team. Um, it definitely is a privilege. Uh, some of the things that I really enjoyed about being a captain is, is really having a, a role on how the season goes for our team, whether it be uh, making sure we're prepared for a Saturday or you know encouraging guys where they need encouragement. Um, or just leading, leading in the weight room or, or in any training, any practice or anything that, that we do during the season to get ready. Um, and it really has been a great experience, a great, a great privilege. How I got to Wheaton was kind of unexpected uh, in a sense, just because I wasn't even expecting to go on to college after, after high school. I had far moved past that idea and uh, I decided I was gonna join the Marine Corps right out of high school and a couple of family friends at our church came up to me one Sunday and told me I'd be a good fit for uh, a school called Wheaton in the Chicago area and so I, I checked it out and eventually came on a visit and I was blown away uh, from the moment I stepped on campus. So I was greeted by guys like Andy Studebaker and, uh, and Shane Woodward and, and these were the men that, that I wanted to be like and I wanted a place um, where I could be sharpened and I found that here. And one other thing I found is uh, a lot of programs and a lot of schools talk about brotherhood and uh, the community on their teams. And you know, there's a lot of talk and, and no show in a lot of those programs, but here um, there's unbelievable community, Christian community, where guys are all striving to, to be uh, servants of Christ and making sure that their teammates are, are doing the same. And so that's the kind of brother, brotherhood I found here. And I was sold. Um, and I want to be part of this program. Well, as, as, as far as football goes, um, there's so many different memories that, that come to mind with, you know, last second victories, uh, last year at Bethel, last second victory, um, you know, a defensive stance towards the end of the game uh, to seal a victory. There's so many different, um, so many different great victories. Um, and if you know Wheaton, Wheaton wins. And uh, my best football memory would have to be my sophomore year being a part of that um, semifinal team uh, that made it all the way to the semifinals, national semifinals, and uh, just you know go, uh, going into the you know getting the playoffs. We weren't even expected to to get in the playoffs, and then getting an at-large bid, and uh, just that run would have to be my, my best football memory. Uh, as far as memories off the field, um, again, there's so many just with the guys here. Uh, with the community that we have, there's just so many different experiences that we're able to to have as t as a team. But I think the best would would have to be uh, with the missions trips, the WFMP missions trips, um, where anywhere between 50, 60, 70 guys uh, in a given year go on uh, these missions trips around the world. Uh, and I've been able, I've had the opportunity to go to South Africa. Uh, three years in a row now, back to the same place, see the same people, partner with a former Wheaton football player, J.D. Boardman, uh, where he's running an AIDS orphanage in, in a township called Laskop uh, in South Africa. And partner with him and do work projects, play with the kids, and, and uh, the best experience really is, is you know standing side by side with your teammates um, and, and giving up your spring break and serving somebody else. There's not many other places in the, in the nation where you can uh, go halfway around the world with your football team. And there's, there's a lot of fun times that happens. Um, but there's also, you know, th there's bonding that can't be, that can't happen anywhere else uh, when you're halfway around the world serving others um, and uh, doing that right alongside your teammates. As far as the future goes, I, I, I know that uh, God has called me um, to represent him somewhere in the ministry. Uh, wherever that may be, I'm not sure. I know that God gave me um, a, love for, a love for kids. He gave me a love for sports for a reason. And uh, I'm able to, um, to you know, use that here while I'm at Wheaton. And I'm, and I'm sure that's what he has planned for me somewhere in the future. Um, but I'm not really, I'm not really positive. I don't have absolute plans set after graduation yet. But.